I invite anybody who would like a better seat, uh, who would want any children who would like to come up a little closer, to feel free to come up here and you can sit here on either side of the pew. Great. The candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Will you be responsible for seeing that the children you present are brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will, God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help these children to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, God's help. You renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of, of wickedness that rebel against God. I renounce Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? You renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? All of you. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us join with these who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, my Father, my Father. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified and died in his prayer. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Do you persevere in resisting evil? And whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, we strive for justice and peace among all people, and respect the dignity of every human being. I will, Let us now pray for these children who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection. And look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen.
be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we're buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Isabella, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You're sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. by the power of the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon these, your servants, the forgiveness of sin, and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you in the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Thank you. 
peace of the Lord be always with you.